this Friday I'm going to be uploading a Q&A video, Q&A video, and I will be answering any questions you guys leave in the comments down below. And if you'd like to be featured in the video, feel free to comment down below in this video, or can you go into the link in the description, they're directing you guys over to the post where a lot of questions have been, uh, have been made under that post. So yes, feel free to do that if you guys like to. Also, if you're new around here, welcome. Please consider subscribing and turning on those post notification bells to get notified when I upload. Finally, please consider giving this video a like as it helps me understand what sorts of videos you guys like and dislike. And it also helps me push my content into the algorithm. But without further Let's get straight into it. Now, this article is made or not made, was created by Sports Brief. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check it out in your own time. The title is, Which is the Most Hated Football Team in the World? Top 10. This article was published March 15th, 2022. So it is a year and some months old so take this list if your team is on the list with a grain of salt please now like any other sport football involves passion and mixed emotions from everyone involved but unfortunately hatred is one of them passionate hatred is quite common in football especially from local clubs that have a long-standing rivalry with one another however when it comes to the most hated football teams globally issues can range from jealousy of its dominance and success, its roster of players, its spending or choices by the management, but we all agree there are just those teams we love to hate. So the most hated football team, Barcelona, is the second most followed club on social media in the world, but unfortunately with a lot of followers comes a lot of hate to haters too. Juventus, the Turin-based giants often referred as the old lady are the most loved football team from Italy and the most hated one as well, okay? Real Madrid is the most followed club on social media in the world, but also one of the most hated ones in Manchester United. Man U is one of the most famous clubs in the world. In almost every country in the world, you'll find a Manchester United fan. A, sur a survey found that they are the third most followed club on social media, but have many huge followers who are not on social media. So, not every, not, no team is loved by everyone. Maybe it is a little bit dramatic, but you cannot, you just cannot wait until the day you see the t that team fall, okay? So which are those teams that everyone loves to hate? Join us as we highlight some of the most hated teams that exist today. So the most hated football teams, using the most recent st 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 statical, it's a statical ranking. Social media polls, findings, and publications from credible sources. We've compiled a list of the most hated teams in football. So, number 10, we have Rangers FC. One of the reasons the Kerr and the Kerr is in the Kerr is hated so much is its, it's success in the Scottish Premier League, winning over 100 trophies in its 150 years of existence. Rangers are the most successful team in Scottish football history and the second in the world. Oh. Another facet of the hatred is rooted in Rangers' religious ideologies that are seen as far more conflicting than the rest of Scotland. Rangers and the majority of those who support it are Protestant, yeah. while the majority of the rest of Scotland primarily identify with either Catholicism or the Church of Scotland. Rangers is also hated for its support for the English monarchy and its pro UK uh, unisation, I believe, unisation beliefs, which are different from the rest of Scotland and, of, and to some extent, some parts of the UK who are against the alliance of the UK. I don't really understand that. So, can someone down below who is knowledgeable of this explain to me what this whole UK unisation is? Unionization beliefs are there. There we go. What, what is what is all that like? What does that mean? To, 
guess I would just explain them what that, what that means or the, the, the problem that that uh, this idea um, arises. Uh, Rangers also have a long time, a long standing rivalry with its neighboring team Celtic FC with the clash of the duo being referred uh, to as Old Firm. Okay. So in number nine, we have RB Leipzig or Red Bull Leipzig. RB Leipzig or as it is mainly referred to is a German football club competing in the country's Premier, Premier League Bundesliga. The hatred by the masses towards the, them stems from its vast dramatic rise to compete in Germany's top flight and the ownership of the club. Football is a glue to German society and it has social responsibility. As once said by Karsten Kramer, the chief executive of Borussia Dortmund, for this reason, Germany has had has, has a 50 plus one where it is stated that the ownership of a club befalls, befalls the public and no single person or co uh, co corporation can own more than 50% stake in a club. I think it tried to say corporation. Um, in most German clubs, anyone can buy a stake in the club any season to add to the rule, another one is in place that states that the voting rights in the club's decisions lie with its members. Okay, so the clubs are for the people, not for the big corporations or businesses. That is cool. That's a cool business model. That's a cool business model. I'm not, or uh, yeah, it's a cool way to run it. Um, I guess a team because then I guess you could say the fans can also have it say in what happens. Hence, oh, that's, that's also a reason why they did it. The German teams didn't really want to join the Super League when it when it when it tried to form. <laughs> if you guys remember that whole thing, of course, if you're a football fan, you'll understand what I'm saying. Okay, number eight. Oh no, it's not. We're not where yet. That's not the case for RB Leipzig, Red Bull, the Austrian brand already own owning sports clubs worldwide. Bought SSV, Marken. Markenstadt, I think that's how you say, a relatively not unknown club, rebranded it to RB Leipzig, equipped it with the best tactical team money could buy. In just six years, they saw the club dramatically rise from competing in the fourth division to the top flight, something unwitnessed in Germany. Wow, that's crazy. Up in number eight, we have Arsenal. Is Arsenal hated? I think the more clowned on than hated, but maybe they are. I don't know. This, this, this thing. Arsenal is one of the most followed teams globally, a title that sadly comes with one of the most hated too. With such a huge following, not every decision taken by the club will sit well with all its fans. However, Arsenal fans are some of the most passionate followers you can find, making them some of the most passionate critics of the game. Yeah, this is other day. Say no to the Super League. Beautiful game. Not greedy game. Okay. Hashtag say no to the Super League. Shame on you, AFC, Rip Arsenal, 1896, 2001, hashtag Gronk, E out, oh, wow, most of, most of the hatred, or for, okay, most of the hatred for Arsenal, from the fans stems, from issues like players, position during ma matches, management purchasing decisions, and overall coaching decisions made, Arsenal also has a long standing rivalry with the major EPL clubs such as Manchester United, Chelsea, Tottenham, and Manchester City. Okay, moving on to number seven. We have Bayern Munich in football. Bayern Munich is one of the most raw revered and highly decorated clubs, but unfortunately it's not everyone's cup of tea. The hate, the hate for the Bundesliga giant by fans all over stems from but the key one includes uh, uh, include its dominance in major European leagues, poaching players from rival teams, arrogance and pride by its fans, the tone deaf attitude of the club's management, and Bayern luck. With over 70 trophies under its belt, Bayern is not only one of the most successful teams in Bundesliga, but the world something that has had them a gain animosity from many fans of rival clubs it's also it also has a habit of poaching star players from other teams by offering higher pay which 
which doesn't sit well with clubs and fans alike. Byron is also hated for its association with the Bavarian culture. Oh. Bavar is he trying to say barbarian or is it barbarian? Let me know down below. Culture and people who are normally seen as prideful and boastful. Yeah, I can understand why. Like, I, I, don't, I don't like that either. Like, uh, I think I mentioned it one of my previous videos about how Byron just literally Byron buys like the best players from each team in the Bundesliga. So say like this team was giving Byron trouble uh, last season, they would just buy their best players and not even play him, probably even bench him or loan him off just because they can, which is kind of annoying to see because that's kind of like, you know, a big F you to all the clubs, you know, like, you're trying to compete with us. No, <laughs> we'll just take your best players, put them on the bench, put them in the reserves, or even loan them out, which is crazy. But, yeah, moving on. Always not done. My bad. The club is also known to have the most arrogant management. Always not taking fans, suggestions, and plays into account. Legend has it that Byron has the luck of scoring during the last minute and winning marches. A term that was even going for it, Byron do, do so, or Byron luck, is the word with do so derived from undeserved luck in German. So naturally, this always breeds frustrations and resentment among its rival fans. Oh. Number six, we have Chelsea. Slightly more than two decades, Chelsea was featuring nowhere near the top of the Premier League standing. Its dramatic rise to the top of the league, dominating it, and even winning a European title is one of the many reasons fans of rival clubs hate it. Another reason the club is being hated on is because uh, of its rich owner, which is not uh, this uh, owner anymore, Roman Abramovich, who is known to spend From Jose Mourinho, the former coach, to Diego Costa. Diego, is he trying to say Diego Costa? Chelsea had a quite a share of diverse characters over the years that have been the source of hatred towards the I think it's Diego Costa, not Costa. Um, Chelsea also has a long-standing rivalry with London-based clubs, Arsenal, Crystal Palace, Tottenham Hotspur, and West Ham. Yeah, Chelsea. Yeah, listen. My thoughts on Chelsea is that they should, you know, they're not patient enough. I think Chelsea fans have developed uh, um, a habit of not being patient. Some of them are, but I think people who were fans of Chelsea before Abramovich came in know what patience is, but I think the newer fans, they're all about like, trying to win right now like not they're not necessarily thinking about like building um i don't think they have the patience a lot of them at least not everyone uh that's a chelsea fan but a lot of chelsea fans don't have what it seems to be the patience to wait for a build of a proper team they just kind of want to have the players now and then like start winning automatically but that's not how it works all the time very few occasions um Sometimes I need a season or two to click together to start really seeing the results of your signings. Like, they bought a lot of players, and they just expect them to perform as soon as they get to the club. And, you know, it's not an individual sport, it's a team sport, so even if they're giving it their all, maybe the, the person next to them isn't necessarily in the right mind spot or right mindset to give it all, um, to give the, their 100%. And, like, um... It's, it's a team effort, and I think uh, the fans have to be patient for them to start clicking, and then you guys will see results um, over a span of time. I don't think it's going to be instant, but I feel like that's what a lot of Chelsea fans want. They want as soon as they hit the pitch, uh, hit the ground, they start scoring goals. Patrick's are fun, and that's not really the case with a lot of these signings. They're very, very young players. Some of them may be more experiment, uh, experienced, but very young players who are just starting to get their stride in the, in the football world. I think you guys are trying to ask for too much. They have the potential of what you guys are asking, but I, I think you guys are asking for too much, for, uh, too, for too much.
Thanks, friends. Um, your thoughts? Okay, so number five, we have Millwall. Millwall FC is a club located in southeast London, competing in the English Football League, the second highest football competition in England. The club is known for its uh, hooliganism and worst violence cases in football, which have been the subject of several documentary documentaries in pointing out the negative side of football. The club's fans share a bitter rivalry with their football two fellow London clubs, West Ham and Chelsea. Okay. Hey, <laughs> at least they embraced the villain role. The fact that the official chant of the club's fan base is no one likes us and we don't care should be a testament that Willem Millwall is indeed one of the most hated clubs. I don't know. That's, that's funny though. That is funny. Number four, Barcelona. Barcelona is the second most followed club on social media in the world, but unfortunately with a lot of followers comes a lot of haters too. The team is hated for many reasons, but some of the most or some of the ones which stood out are its dominance and winning streaks, its sponsorship choices, players' conduct while playing, its purchases, choices, and tiki taka. Barcelona has remained one of the one of the one of the dominant clubs in the Spanish league and European football. It boasts of having one of the most envious trophy and, uh, trophy count globally attributed to its hard work. This is usually a cause of envy of fans from other clubs, the most notable being fans of English clubs. The club's choice of sponsorship has not sat well with many people, in particular Qatar Airways, which was mar uh, marred in controversies at the time of sponsorship with Barcelona. Subsequently, its deal with Rakuten, the Japanese e-commerce giant, did upset a lot of people following the discovery that the company dealt in whale meat and elephant ivory products. Barcelona players and staff are known to be disrespectful towards referees, which makes a lot of people hate them. The club's players also have a terrible reputation for employing dirty tricks, employing dirty tricks during games. Barcelona is known for the perfect for perfecting tiki taka, a ball possession and passing technique also is usually a source of frustration and hatred from our clubs. Okay. Okay, I can see. Um, but I feel like every every team does this, like, they're disrespectful towards referees, so I feel like that's not a trait to one individual club, because I feel like every player and team does this during certain games, so I don't know. I think you're kind of reaching there. You're kind of reaching, but who knows? Number three, Juventus. Before I get started, listen, I think Juventus is hated a lot because they're they're they've been caught cheating. <laughs> so they're no dish they're they're cheaters. They've been caught cheating multiple times. Like, even recently they got like fined and like point deducted for like some sort of some sort of uh thing that I don't I, I forgot what it was. Was it is it financial fair play? Or maybe something else that wrote match fixing, I don't know. I know in the past they've been caught match fixing, so yeah. Juventus, the Turin based giants often referred to as the old lady, are the most loved football team from Italy and the most hated one. Most of the hatred accord accorded to Juventus stems from many issues. Still, the major ones include its success, the Calzipoli scandal, the arrogance, favoritism by the referees, and its divisive set of players. Juventus, one can say, is a victim of its success dominating the Italian Football League. Throughout the years of winning it for the last seven years in a row, is a source of jealousy amongst many fans and other, uh, of other teams. In 2006, Juventus' manager was caught in a match-fixing there it is, match fixing scandal in the now infamous Calciopoli scandal that saw the club stripped from their 2005-2006 Serie A championship titles and relegated to Serie B. Juventus managers and players are disliked for their arrogant statements which invoke all sorts of negative emotions amongst people. Some of the, some of the figures who have made some controversial statements while at the club are Luciano Mogi, the team's director, Antonio Conte, the former team's coach, with one incident that even led to a fight in the Italian parliament in a 
is still a subject of heated discussion in the country to this day. In most cases, Juventus usually are seen as favored by referees, a source of bitter hatred from fans all over. Yep. Number two, we have Real Madrid, Real Madrid. Real Madrid is one of the most followed club on social media in the world, but also one of the most hated ones. Why are the Madrid-based clubs hated? If one may ask, there are several reasons, including the club's president, its fans, the players playing tactics, the Spanish press, Cristiano Ronaldo, okay, what, and its treatment of its legends. Florentino Perez, Real Madrid's president, is perhaps one of the most polarizing figures of modern day football, with his arrogant statements and unpopular policies that stir controversies. The billionaire has earned himself a spot on the fans' most hated person list number of occasions. Real Madrid's fans are some mo are some most oh, some of the most ungrateful fans out there. I don't think he's this whoever wrote this article has to check it. For they are known to turn their backs on their very own, even if it includes their star player. And he was just having a lousy game phase, as was the case for Cristiano Ronaldo. The club's players are known for using dirty trick games, dirty game tricks, which they seem to get away with during matches and have been the spot, uh, been on the spot, spotlight several times. Okay, this person does not know how to, you know, who's the editor? <laughs> the obsession of the football, of the Spanish press romanticizing Real Madrid is usually another cause of jealousy and hatred from rival teams. Madrid is also hated for how it treats its legends with the likes of Neymar Jr. Cristiano Ronaldo oh Sonny Madrid Neymar Jr. oh yeah Neymar Jr. are you serious? what? I think Neymar Jr. Neymar never even played for him. what? what kind of article is this? alright then number one we have Manchester United. Man U is one of the most famous clubs in the world. In almost every country in the world, you'll find a Manchester United fan. A survey found that they are the third most followed club on social media, but uh, but have many huge followers who are not who are not on social media. The club is usually associated with wealth, power, and success, and has been known to buy their way into almost anything. A fact that makes fans from other teams seethe with envy and hatred. They are known to be glory hunters and are always boastful about their past successes, attracting even more hatred from fans. Sir Alex Ferguson, arguably the best football manager of all time, who, despite all the achievements, had a reputation for being arrogant and harassing referees to make decisions his way, which caused a lot of hatred amongst other fans. I hope with the above example, with the, okay, I hope with the examples above the on the most hated teams in football, you've learned a thing or two on what causes the hatred. What is the team that you love to hate, and why do you hate it? Let us know below. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, guys, I think that'd be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below your thoughts. Um, if this list is valid. I mean, by the way, some of the information, some of the things some of the names being misspelled I don't think they've been I don't know I don't know how valid this list is but let me know down below um, if you thought this list is accurate or not and let me know down below also what team do you guys love to hate I guess for me a team that I do not like at all mm, let me think of a team I don't like at all in the prem I don't really think I hate a team in the prem. Uh, probably Tottenham. I don't really hate Tottenham, but I just don't like. I don't just don't like the way that club is run. So I just don't like Tottenham. But let me know down below. Um, let me know down below what team do you love to hate or just don't like at all. And yeah, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing and turning on those post notification bells. Consider giving this video a like as it helps me understand what videos you guys like and don't like and it helps push my content in the algorithm and yeah until next
next time, guys. <laughs>